Hi, welcome back. So today I'm going to go over a little overview of Git branches. So I'm going to be going over what they are, how they work, and just a little bit of theory behind them so you can get comfortable with the idea of using and integrating branches into your project. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what branches actually are. So we've all used commits in the past and we've been using it throughout this course. We're putting it and we're taking snapshots of a project and storing them on a tree. But what a branch allows you to do is create a separate development path and you can go off on your own and do all of that on a separate path. So let's just give a little context. Let's say we're making a project here and we want two modes. We want the bug fixing path and we want a regular development path. So let's just say theoretically that we want to sort of split them off into two because we don't want to have the bug fixing path and the release path or the master path together. So what we would do is create a branch and then on this branch, we would do all of the bug fixing commits and you can add multiple commits to a branch. And at the end, when we're done, we can merge the bug fixing branch or the latest commit on the bug fixing branch with our master branch. And that will create a perfect one branch with all of the bugs fixed. And we can do this for multiple paths. I'll show you that in the next slide. But branches can be added, deleted, they can be merged just like regular commits. So let's go to the next slide. So there's a lot of uses for branches. We have a little bit of a diagram here showing some uses for branches. So firstly, they can be used to create these separate development paths without mixing them together or overriding your, over, uh, your older progress. On top of that, you can separate your different end goals. So for example, one branch would be used for released versions. So as you can see in that diagram there, that would be the public versions, the one that you would release for the world. And then you'd have a second branch, for example, bug fixing and another branch for uh, something like maybe experimenting with a new technology and another for this and that. And at the end, you can either discard them, merge branches together. You can do all sorts of things with these branches without having to merge them together and mix them. So branches is what make Git so powerful. It's because with commits, you can do a lot, but with branches, you can really make use of Git and just expand your project to a whole new level. Now, usually you wouldn't add many branches. You'd have maybe four or five branches at max, but these branches allow you to separate your development paths and your end goals into different physical copies. So instead of merging them all together and then, for example, using comments or different files and folders to identify them, you can actually separate them into different paths. And then at the end, you can merge, for example, uh, a new experimental technology with bug fixing, merge them together and then merge that with the released version to make one giant public version that is dependent on a new technology. And there's just so many different things that you can do. Now, if you don't get what's going on, don't worry, we're going to go through branches in depth and we're going to cover them and it'll make a lot more sense when we get there. But for now, let's just continue understanding what branches can do. So overall, let's just go over a little summary. Branches can be used to sort of break off of the normal commit timeline and create a series of commits on a different timeline without having to mix them up with your already existing timeline, your master branch. So you can do this to create developmental versions, bug fixes, using new technologies, maybe even refactoring your code, which is pretty much bug fixing in a sense. But you can do all sorts of things with branches and in the end, you can move them around, you can add, delete them, you can even merge them together just like you can do with commits. All right, let's move on.